Hello and welcome back. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to add some more things to cockpit. Uh, the last video I showed you just the plain cockpit uh, that you can install. Uh, what we'll be doing now is we'll be adding Docker uh, as well as Kubernetes and uh, those are basically you can think of them almost like plugins but just a little bit uh, more extensions to the the cockpit itself um, with underlying technology underneath um, so that I can show you some of the uh, uh, neat things that you can do with containerization and docker and, and stuff like that uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add the apple uh, repository to that um, so we'll run that command and get that going and then we're just going to do a yum repo list just to see uh, that the new one has been added and downloaded and updated okay that all looks good uh, next we're actually going to install uh, docker uh, cockpit docker, cockpit kubernetes, kubernetes and etcd okay looks like those modules have all installed uh, next we're actually going to look at the uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes API server and what we're going to do here is we're going to change the IP address to uh, listen on all the different interfaces another thing is we're actually going to remove the uh, service account from the control uh, so the API server is completed next we'll take a look at the etcd config and we're going to change this to the uh, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. To look good. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to enable the uh, cube API server, cube controller, cube scheduler, kubelet docker, and the cube proxy. And then we're also going to enable it. Okay, next is to go to our browser and go to port 9090. Here's the screen for that. Now, the last video I had uh, it was just the dashboard. Um, what we did here is when we added the uh, Kubernetes, that actually started or installed or gave us access to the cluster. Uh, so there'll be some more uh, things that you can select from there as well. Um, so let's first go back to the dashboard, and then when we look at containers. We can see that we have Docker running, and it's there and it's available. Uh, there's no images running on it currently, um, and that's what's been added basically from uh, number one installing Docker, starting Docker, and then now it's part of the uh, web GUI. There. Now we're going to go back to the cluster, and this is what I think is kind of the neat part here. This kind of breaks down Kubernetes more in a graphical, uh, visual way instead of always from the command line. Um, here you've got your node. We've only got one. Uh, my plan is in the future is I'll do another uh, video in the future where there'll be actually three. There'll be a master and two uh, nodes that will communicate there. So there'll be a total of three. Um, here's the containers that are running. Topology. This is what I think is really cool. You got a whole bunch of uh, you know, graphic things that you can see move around. Uh, click on them and get information about them. Uh, and then the details of the services, replication controllers, and pods, and then the volumes. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, real quick, which is kind of cool, I think, is we're actually going to uh, add a, an example um, of an Nginx. Uh, so we'll do that uh, from the command line. Let me clean this up a little bit. I'm going to show them both at the same time, and this is what I think is, is really cool. There's the command to uh, start the example, and the image is nginx. Yeah, just like that. Already created it. There's the example that we just had there. Now let's go a little bit uh, more interesting. We're actually going to do a uh, a WordPress. 
And this is going to be a little bit more uh, complex because there's going to be different ports uh, associated to it. One's going to be the internal port within the container, and another one is going to be what's called the host port, which would be more or less the external IP, uh, external port that you use to access the container. Um, so let's uh, get that one put into play. Uh, again, that is, like I said, it's going to be a WordPress. And it's there. Um, what we can do now is we can actually uh, do a uh, cube control. And that kind of shows you, you know, the two that we've got there and then the age and stuff like that. Uh, another thing I can show you real quick is uh, back to the original dashboard. Now, if we go into containers, um, we can see, you know, good information about memory utilization, uh, CPU. We can see that we've got the uh, image, the Nginx, uh, the two pods. Uh, here are the actual images that, that it got, the Docker I.O. Nginx latest. Um, the uh, one for the WordPress as well and then the size of those. You gotta think, these are pretty small, I mean, that's what they call microservices, you know, 173 meg and 205 meg, you know, compared to gigs or, uh, you know, much larger uh, size uh, systems. If we go to the cluster, like you said, you can see a little bit more of the details there as well. And once again, the topology containers example and then WordPress from the uh, cube control git pods uh, you can see that we've got both example and WordPress both are running and uh, the age and just to show you from that earlier command Where we have here port 80 is the internal, and then port 81 is the external. Uh, the external one will be actually uh, associated to the, uh, in this case, since we only have one node, it's going to be that node's IP address and that port, which is going to be 81. Uh, I'll show you that as an example as well. So if I go to the same IP address we're at, instead of 99, you go to 81. We're at the WordPress installation. All right, that's all I have for this one. Uh, like I said, we'll be doing some more uh, stuff in the future where we'll be adding more nodes and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you this uh, quick, down, fast Kubernetes, Docker, uh, cockpit, and you know, graphical interface, so you can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, come back and uh, should have another video in the next couple of days. Thank you. Bye.